Good afternoon, I'm Riza Diaz. This is One News Now. Marinduque Representative Lord Alan Velasco breaks his silence, denying all the accusations House Speaker Alan Peter Cayetano laid out against him. In a video posted on Facebook, Velasco claimed that Cayetano shamelessly attacked him to hang on to power and to keep his position as the leader of the lower chamber. One of the allegations that Velasco contested was him becoming a lazy lawmaker and wanting to oust Cayetano. This is a complete falsehood. I have always worked quietly and consistently away from the camera. Kuplat, it's a cheap shot. Velasco went on to accuse Cayetano of favoring his close allies on the pretext of the ongoing 2021 national budget deliberations. With this, Velasco challenged his rival speaker to finish the budget hearings and tender his resignation. Cayetano has yet to respond to Velasco's latest pronouncements. Please, I appeal to you, finish the budget and resign on October 14. Let us show the public that we, as your representatives, are still decent, honorable, and trustworthy leaders. A political analyst says the ongoing squabble in Congress is more than just or who, ju who should just be the next House Speaker. In an interview on the Chiefs Ateneo School of Government, Edwin Tayo explained that the speakership is crucial in having control over the 2022 election budget. Tayo added that the leader of the lower chamber may also hold electoral advantages, including having influence and control of significant resources. If you're a speaker, uh, your advantage is uh, to retain a substantial amount of influence, uh, even if you don't run for office. So um, even if you're not a billiard, uh, you are very well uh, in control of a significant amount of uh, resources, so to speak. Hence, uh, you can, you are very, uh, what's this, uh, uh, you're a necessary ally, no, uh, come election day.